But let's continue now to look more closely at the topic of faith. Fill us the words that jump out in your talk in response to suffering. Look up. Look up. And be saved. Moses' command. I must ask you, were you able to do that with the tragic death of your baby son 30 yes, years ago? Yes, but I, don't, I, I think, uh, yes, well, when our son died, uh, it takes a while. I mm-hmm. think you look up immediately, as, as anyone knows who's dealt with great tragedy, illness. You look up immediately, uh, but you look up so thinly is how I put it to myself. Uh, the rope is quite thin. It's almost a spider web of looking up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and over the years of looking up, it weaves itself into a sinewy rope, mm-hmm. uh, your faith does. Mm-hmm. Uh, faith is always instructed and strengthened by those things unless you know, unless it's absolute, unless you, you turn away. But if you can look up. Uh, what if it's a question of injustice, though? I mean, I were, the, were the African slaves before the emancipation uh, <laughs> supposed to look up? Were women supposed to look up? I'm 72 years old. When I came along, it was uh, I totally understood that no woman could do what I was doing. Uh, you know, There's uh, no question uh, that uh, the Christian faith really did um, feed the African population absolutely. of slaves, that they actually got their hands around this notion of there being an arc of a moral universe that bent toward That's justice right. and that there was uh, in Jesus a, a, a conduit to, to justice. Right. I, and their, let, me, let me see, and their great gift was that they suffered through that and came up with that and look how it has diffused across American religion, which really is my area of expertise. This is true. Uh, yes, this because if you look true. at what has happened to American religion in the last 40 years, it is a diffusion of the African-American spirituality that has in many ways softened, invigorated, fertilized, given muscle, uh, you know, uh, to that for this the whole. Very and it's so very when, true. when is it okay to rage at the pain? I think it's always all right to rage. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Jonah raised. The, the Holocaust, uh, what greater offense could there have been? But look what it too has given, you know. Every knife cuts two ways. I think to not rage is to be Pollyanna and That's die right. of sweetness. That's and you transport would just be us from, yes. from this wonderful uh, piece on how to respond to suffering into the mystery, the reality of divine mystery of the faith. Which is what they'll say. That's right, exactly. And also what I think is really fascinating about about your 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 message is that you take us into a new terrain where we can accept the diversity of faith. That's right. That we can accept these different faith walks and trust that they're all leading toward the light. They're all leading toward the truth. That is so fascinating and so timely. Yes. In my life as a journalist I have to deal with because journalism has to see all things is equal. Mm-hmm. Uh, regardless of what people say about the press, we really do try hard. Uh, and though I'm not part of the active press now, for 13 years I dealt, especially in religion, that's the dangerous. active press. And also we know that faith without action is no that's right. faith at that's all. Right. Say it a is word. Not. It is not. Say a word about that. How do you how do you make your faith an active faith? How do you make your faith an active faith? Seconds. As a journalist, you wear a, a hat that says, right now I belong to the magazine, right now I belong to the church, right now. Right, and right <laughs> and now I'm a human being. Bill, <laughs> and you say, which bill am I? I mean, you look up and see, uh, because uh, you, you have to do that. I think that if one is actively involved with the faith and, and very um, tied into it, very much aware of it, uh, practicing it, and I do live Benedictine and have for 40 years, it's become somehow easier to be respectful of other faiths. Uh, Thank and, you. Carlos. Yes, I think that's true. I Thank think you it, yeah. so much for so giving us so much to think about, so much to, to pray about.